So lately I've been trying to get better at not waiting so long after purchasing a new gun before I take it out to the range and shoot it. I did this video last week on this very nice Harrington and Richardson uh, M1 Garand that I picked up from Cabela's a couple weeks ago. And since I had a little bit of nice weather this past Saturday and I was able to get some of that PPU ammo, I decided that it was time for me to take this thing out to the range and do some shooting with it. Now, right off the bat here, I think I made a mistake. I was loading these end block clips without cleaning them or without oiling them. These are some ones that I bought from Numrich off the internet. And they're very chalky feeling. They're very dry. I was able to load them fairly easily, but it felt like the rounds were going in there pretty tough. So this may end up giving me some trouble once I'm out at the range. Once again, this was another day that was very busy. I actually went to the range and there was like six other cars there when I got there. So I drove up the road a little ways to get gas and came back about a half an hour later. And there were fewer people there, but there was still quite a few people there when I was shooting. So I was trying very hard not to give myself grand thumb when I was first trying to load these rounds. Um, a little bit later on, you can see that that was kind of unavoidable. I did start off shooting the PPU ammo and right away I noticed that the ejection patterns were kind of erratic. Some of the rounds were going forward, some of the rounds were going backwards, and I, I don't know if it just so happens that if the round is on the left side or the right side of the clip when it fires, if it ejects it in a different location, but they were going kind of all cattywampus all over the place when I was shooting it, and you could see here that I was having some issues loading rounds Every once in a while, it would poop out a round that it wasn't supposed to. So again, I'm not sure if that was due to the end block clips being really dry and chalky. The other thing I had also done before I'd taken this out to the range was changed out the gas port block with a ported gas block that came from GarandGear.com. I also purchased a stainless steel recoil spring from GarandGear.com mainly because the gas block allows you to shoot higher pressure rounds. It actually bleeds off some of the pressure, which allows you to shoot uh, hunting rounds without bending your op rod. And the stainless steel spring was basically just a replacement spring that I bought, um, but they wind it out of stainless steel wire, which is supposed to be a little bit stiffer, even though the spring is a little bit shorter. So I don't know if I was really setting myself up for failure right out of the gate by changing both the gas block and the recoil spring and by using the dry end block clips. I did have some success, but you could see here even the clip popped out the top of the, the gun when I was shooting it, um, which to me was really irritating because this was not an inexpensive gun whatsoever, and it was a CMP gun. So I figured right out of the box after I cleaned it and greased all the points that it says to grease, I figured this thing was going to work properly, but you can see my frustration here on camera. I wasn't too, too happy with how things were going at this point. And this is where I made that fatal error of trying to put a partially loaded clip in, and you can see me say, ah, right there, I just gave myself grand thumb. Well, I guess I'm in the club now. They say that you can't own an M1 Garand without smashing your thumb in the action at least one time. I had a big chunk of skin flapping off there. Luckily for me though, I carry band-aids in my wallet so I was able to patch myself up and keep shooting. I will say one thing about this rifle, it has a fantastic trigger. After smashing my thumb, I was a little bit sheepish when I was loading the clips into the 
internal magazine on this thing and again you can see the bolt closing is a little bit sluggish i think that has to do with the fact that the ch the clips are really dry and chalky um, it did seem to get better after a little while i had one or two clips that i was able to fire just about the whole clip without any issues but Overall, at this point, I was starting to get a little bit frustrated. It didn't matter if I was using the Federal Soft Point hunting ammo or the PPU. I was having the same loading problems, and once or twice, I did have that clip pop out before it was supposed to. This clip I had a little bit of difficulty loading. It didn't seem to want to go all the way down inside the receiver. Um, I don't know if it was one of the notches that was um, stamped into the end block clip didn't want to line up in the groove in the receiver or something like that, or if they were off by a little bit. I had to push it down in there and it only went down about three quarters of the way. I kept having to push down harder and harder. And again, you can see at this point in time, I was getting pretty sheepish because I didn't want to smash my thumb in there again, or my other thumb for that matter. And it was basically like it was halfway loaded, but not fully loaded, and I couldn't eject it. The ejection button didn't work. So I had to push it down inside the receiver pretty hard. And then again, I had trouble with the rounds loading into the chamber. So I think in this particular case, it was just a misalignment issue. I was able to get it to close, and I was able to fire through this clip. But Again, you can see me shaking my head. I was not happy at this point in time with how this thing was running. But I can say uh, with a great degree of uh, confidence that this gun is very accurate. I was only shooting at 50 yards, again, because there were so many people at the range. And we kept having to stop to set up other people's targets. And I didn't want to keep going down there and having to put up new targets. So I basically just kept my target at 50 yards. And although I don't show the target in this particular video... Uh, my group was, you know, not terrific. It was probably a, a two-inch group at 50 yards, which is horrible for this particular gun, but it was the first time I'd ever shot a 30-06 rifle, and it was the first time I'd ever shot an M1 Garand. I really wasn't that familiar with the sights on this, but once I got it dialed in, my group was getting smaller and smaller over time. So thanks for joining me on this range trip. It was a little bit frustrating for me. I hope it was worth watching for you. I will have some range time with some better target videos coming soon.